Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing healthy apple crisp recipe made without eggs, maida, refined sugar, butter, milk or even baking soda. Super healthy and tasty eggless apple crisp recipe. So let's quickly dive into the recipe. To make apple crisp, I'm using two large apples or you can use three medium apples. I'm going to peel, core and slice the apples. I'm peeling the apple with my potato peeler. The apples are peeled, so I'm going to slice the apples. To bake the apple crisp, I'm using a cake pan. So into the pan, I'm adding in a few drops of wood pressed coconut oil. And I'm greasing the pan with the wood pressed coconut oil. Make sure you grease the sides as well. Into this pan, I'm slicing in the apples. I have sliced the apples thinly into the pan and spread the apples evenly. Into that I'm squeezing in one whole lemon. Sprinkle one teaspoon cinnamon powder. Mix it with your hand. And spread the apples evenly over the pan. Pour in half cup plain water over the apples. And I'm going to keep this aside. And let's make the topping for the apple crisp. I'm crushing one nutmeg in my stone grinder. Remove the peel. Again crush the nutmeg. And I'm taking half of the nutmeg. I'm crushing it and powdering it. Add the ground nutmeg powder into another bowl. Into this I'm adding in one third cup wood pressed coconut oil. Wood pressed coconut oil and cold pressed coconut oil are the same. Wood pressed coconut oil and virgin coconut oil has a very neutral flavor and taste. Into this I'm adding in 3 fourth cup crushed jaggery. So what I've done is I just crushed the jaggery into small pieces. Instead of crushed jaggery you can also use jaggery powder. Into this I'm adding in one cup kapli wheat flour. Kapli wheat is an ancient variety of wheat grain which has a very weak gluten molecule and has more fiber than ordinary whole wheat flour. Hence, I prefer to use kapli wheat in my recipes. However, if you don't have kapli wheat at hand, you can use ordinary whole wheat flour instead. I'm adding in two fat pinches of pink Himalayan salt and I'm just mixing everything together with my hand. I'm sort of crumbling the mixture with my hand. The nutmeg and the cinnamon will give a nice flavor to the apple crisp. So try not to omit it. The jaggery I'm using is organic jaggery and it does not have any sand or dust particle. And that is the reason why I'm adding it directly. So this is a very simple healthy apple crisp recipe. There is no maida or soda powder in this recipe. Totally healthy and can be enjoyed by the whole family. At this moment, I am preheating my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Mix it well till the mixture resembles coarse sand-like texture. And once the mixture is crumbly and resembles coarse sand, it's ready to top it over the apples. I'm sprinkling it over the apples. And make sure the topping is evenly spread. And now I'm going to bake this in my preheated oven for about 35 to 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. While the apple crisp is baking, you can see some activity there. That is the apple getting cooked while it is being baked. So you don't need to cook the apples and then add it into the pan. The water which has been added will help the apple to get cooked while it is getting baked. After 40 minutes, the apple crisp is nicely baked and you can see that the top is baked nicely and has become crisp. So I'm going to allow it to cool down a little and then I'll show you how it looks. I like to serve apple crisp while it is still warm. 
Okay, it has cooled down slightly, so I'm just going to slice and show you how it looks. The top is crumbly and crispy. Let me just show you a closer look. You can see that the top is crisp and the apples has cooked really well. So guys do try this healthy apple crisp and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.